Headed west again. Over the last 20 years, this pilgrimage has become a part of my life that I can't seem to do without. Good people, great scenery, and on this particular trip, muleys. Today is uh, opening day of Montana's general deer and elk season. We have chosen to uh, move to a new area. We're still based out of the same town, but we're going to a new area to hunt. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, deer hunt for the next few days and see how that goes. And next week, break into the elk. So uh, it's gonna be quite the adventure. Looking forward to today. The area we're going to today actually has a little bit of a mix. Uh, we've got whitetail and or mule deer out here. So uh, typically we've always hunted mule deer out here, but there are a few pretty decent whitetails. So. We'll just kind of see when we get out of here what the area holds and uh, we're going to meet up with Bill again and uh, head back out. Well, we're getting ready to leave the truck. Um, obviously everybody knows Bill and crack shot over here. <laughs> I'm not sure what Bill's got planned for us. Um, <clears throat> evidently some deer moving out of these bottoms over here. Um, there's some state land across the way that hopefully today's opening morning so hopefully there'll be some hunter pressure that's going to push them this way and we're going to get up here on a spot where we can kind of see and open up the season here in montana Still before shooting live, but we actually think we've got the, the one buck Bill's kind of been targeting here. He's got a pretty big white tail. It's probably three quarters of a mile out in this double field over here. Hopefully, he works his way. We made it out to the point where we thought we could see this thing and then we lost track of the bug. Hopefully he's not went far, so we're gonna hang tight here for a while. Keep glassing this out here and see if he pops up. There's still several white-tailed does, one little bug. There's a lot of deer it is now milling around. There's a lot of terrain features here where we could lose him, so hopefully he's still here. He might even bed it up out here. So much for that we decided to back out and leave them we're gonna go get a bite of breakfast let things bed down and come back and check a bunch of the coolies and stuff and then make a plan for tonight we're back over on the ground that we actually killed a, a good buck on last year uh, i'm gonna try it for the middle of the day here got another place with the white tail we're gonna let it rest not 100% sure where he bedded up, but we're gonna wait, maybe try to go back over there this evening, so. Back over here on some mule deer ground. Most of these by midday here have all dropped into the coolies this morning and probably bedded down, so we're gonna do a little spot and stop, see if we can spot one in his bed uh, and just work out some of these, so. And this is a, there's obviously some good deer here, uh, as you saw last year, so. That's the plan, just keep trucking.
here, see if we can get a better look at it. Thought it was a pretty good four by. We just spotted another one. Bill spotted one over here. We pulled the trucks down here out of sight. We're just gonna go about a thousand yards up the hill. Got the wind right. See if we can get on this one. I think this one's a shooter. We were actually driving down to the spot that uh, Bill was going to put us on some feed tonight on the field down here to see what came out. And I don't know how, how far is that from the road up there? Half a mile, probably. And he spotted some bedded down here, went down, got the trucks out of sight, <laughs> snuck up over the hill. Had them spotted, and then we belly crawled up. We couldn't spot them. We thought they had moved. Actually crawled right out here in the wide open, and it turns out they were on that hillside. We just, they just blended in so well we couldn't see them, but fortunately they stood there and let us get everything set up. 285 yard shot. And it's a pretty cool looking buck. Pretty good one for here. So I, couldn't, I didn't look that long during the time we were glassing him, but through the scope right before a shot, I noticed he had cheaters on one side. Yeah. That is a cool old deer right there. He is old and big. Just a giant deer. But I'm tickled. Old deer, that big split in his ear right there. Battle scars and, golly, what a head on that thing. That's awesome. You know, in four decades of hunting, Probably only 50% of my hunts in the east or the west have yielded an animal. However, 100% of my hunts have been successful. The experience itself is measured by time spent outdoors with good friends, God's creation, and memories made with or without horns. I'll be back.